Next, from the Sun Founders Ultimate Sensor Kit, I'm going to select a potentiometer. You can use this with the Arduino analog pins to control the LED brightness or motor speed, or simply you can use it as an analog sensor for testing your code. I will also explain what is PWM pulse width modulation and how to use it to control the RGB LED module brightness. In upcoming tutorials, I will also use PWM for controlling the motor speed. Anyway, first let's start with a potentiometer. A potentiometer works on a simple principle. It's essentially a variable resistor. Turning the knob changes the resistance, which in turn changes the voltage across the device. This variation in voltage can be easily read by a microcontroller using analog inputs. Potentiometers provide a smooth, continuous analog output, which makes them ideal for learning how analog signals work. To explain the analog inputs and PWM, I have already connected the potentiometer and RGB LED module to the Arduino Uno R4 Minima board. Let me remind you one more time, instead of using Arduino Uno R4, you can also use Arduino Uno R3 or Arduino Nano. In the first example, we will write a program to read the potentiometer and print its value on the serial monitor. Then in the second example, we will write a program to automatically control the brightness of the RGB LED module using pulse width modulation. And then in the third example, we will use the potentiometer and RGB LED module together. We will write a program to read the potentiometer and then using that value, we will control the brightness. The RGB LED module is still connected to the Arduino PWM pins 9, 10 and 11. The left and right legs of the potentiometer are connected to the Arduino 5 volt and ground whereas the middle leg of the potentiometer is connected to the analog pin A0. You can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and start with our first example. I simply start off by defining the pin and a variable. To activate serial communication between Arduino and a computer or any other serial communication supported devices, we use the serial dot begin function and inside the parentheses, we add the baud rate. For this example, I have selected the standard baud rate of 9600. The baud rate specifies the speed at which data is transmitted in bits per second. Analog read is a function used to read analog voltage values from an analog input pin on the Arduino board. Arduino boards have several analog input pins labeled with A0, A1 and so on. These pins can be used to read analog signals such as those generated by sensors, potentiometers or other analog devices. The analog read function takes one argument, which is the number of the analog input pin you want to read from. The argument should be a number representing the pin's analog input number. For example, to read from analog pin A0, you would use analog read A0, but in my case, I have defined it with the name part. So it reads the potentiometer and stores the value in a variable part value, and then using the serial.println function, we send the value to the serial monitor. I have already uploaded this program, so let's go ahead and open the serial monitor. You can see change in the value as I rotate knob of the potentiometer. PWM or pulse width modulation is a technique used in Arduino for creating a simulated analog output using digital signals. PWM does not provide true analog output since Arduino boards typically cannot generate true analog voltages. Instead, it simulates an analog output by rapidly turning a digital pin on and off. But the latest Arduino Uno R4 Minima board has a 12-bit take digital to analog converter while it's not available on the Arduino Uno R3. A digital to analog converter allows for the creation of a true analog output as opposed to the simulated analog output produced by PWM pulse width modulation. Anyway, not all pins on the Arduino support PWM. On most Arduino boards, PWM functionality is available on specific pins marked with the symbol. So that's the reason I have connected the RGB LEDs to pins 9, 10 and 11. As these are the PWM pins and I'm going to use these pins to control the LEDs brightness. So let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. The RGB LEDs remain connected to the PWM pins 9, 10, and 11. Within the setup function, I have configured these pins as outputs. I won't delve into these details here as I have already explained them in previous examples. The analog write function in Arduino is used to write an analog value, a value between 0 and 255, to a PWM pulse width modulation pin. 
It's important to clarify that despite the name analog write, the function doesn't create a true analog output, but simulates it through PWM. The analog write function takes two arguments. The first argument is the pin number you want to generate the PWM signal on, and the second argument is the value of the duty cycle. The duty cycle value should be between zero fully off and 255 fully on. To automatically control the LED's brightness, I'm using a far loop. If you want to speed up or slow down the fading effect, then you can change this delay time. Rest of the code is exactly the same, except the pin numbers. I've already uploaded this program and let's watch this in action. Now, in this next example, I'm going to control the LED's brightness using potentiometer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. By looking at this program, you must have gotten the idea that this time I've combined the codes of previous two examples. Let's go to the loop function. First, we read the potentiometer using the analog read function and store its value in the variable part value. This time around, I'm also using the map function. Map function is a useful function that is used to scale or map a value from one range to another. It takes an input value and scales it proportionally to a new range. This function is particularly handy when you want to convert sensor readings or other values to a different scale that is more suitable for your application. You know the duty cycle should be between 0 and 255. So that's why I converted the potentiometer value from 0 to 1023 into 0 to 255. You can use the same technique for setting the motor speeds and you can also use this technique for expressing the sensor values in percentage. So it depends on your logic how you use it. Next, I'm using some if conditions and this time instead of using a for loop, I'm using the map value to control the brightness. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.